All right, one of the topics in eighth grade science has to do with Earth systems, and there are four main Earth systems. The first one is hydrosphere. Hydro refers to water, uh, sphere meaning globe. So the hydrosphere has to do with all of the water on Earth. That includes the um, oceans, rivers, streams. It also includes all of the water above the Earth. So any type of precipitation, rain or snow, would be included in the hydrosphere. It will also include all of the water inside or under the surface of the Earth. And this is a picture of a cave with an underwater river of groundwater. And that would be um, all included in the hydrosphere. Geosphere, geo meaning Earth, and sphere meaning globe. So all of the Earth on Earth. Um, so in other words, all of the mountain uh, formations, um, rock formations in the desert, and, uh, caves, minerals, everything inside of the earth, all of the hard parts. So um, crust, mantle, outer core, inner core would all be part of the geosphere. Atmosphere. The, the, the word atmos is Greek for vapor and sphere again is globe so the atmosphere is all the vapor or gas gases around the earth and here we have uh, a little gives you an idea of of the different gases that surrounds us nitrogen carbon dioxide oxygen uh, water vapor O3 that is the formula for ozone um, and here are you know a little there's a little picture of the layers of the atmosphere, mesosphere, stratosphere, troposphere. And then there's the biosphere. <coughs> the term bio refers to life, just like biology is the study of life. Biosphere would be all of the life on Earth, and that would include all kinds of um, all animal life, sea creatures, birds, um, insects, germs, anything that is a, a, a living being. Uh, I, sh I guess I shouldn't say germs, bacteria, things like that. Um, here is uh, uh, a, a picture of animal life as well as human life. Um, this is an oarfish. Um, and they actually grow to be larger than that. Um, this strange creature is a microscopic view of a maggot. And this odd-looking thing is actually a plant, kind of like a uh, Venus flytrap. I forget what it's called. Um, Africanus. I, I forget the, the, the name for it, but uh, kind of an odd-looking thing. Uh, but the thing to keep in mind is that uh, the biosphere includes all, all living things, um, big, small, strange, all, all living organisms on Earth. And uh, an important term when thinking about Earth's atmosphere is the term interdependence. And you see all these arrows here. And interdependent means that they all rely on one another, that um, what happens to one will often affect the other, and the actions of one will affect the other. And um, they're all kind of um, connected in, in some way. Um, it's different from independent. The word independent would mean that they are isolated from one another, um, that they act on their own, and that's not the case here. They're interdependent, and uh, they rely upon each other. So that's a brief and quick overview of the four systems of, of uh, the Earth. I um, hope it was helpful.